Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to solve particular integral when we have x is equals to x raised to m into v. Yes, we know that here v is a sin ax or cos of ax and m is here positive integer. In last lecture, we have seen how to proceed for this type of x when we have v is equals to sin ax and cos of ax. Yes, we know that when we have v is equals to cos of ax, we have pi is equals to real part of this 1 upon f of d into x raised to m e raised to i a x, right? And when we have v is equals to sin ax, we have the imaginary part of this operation, right? So now let's proceed for the example. Yes, here we can check that we can solve this differential equation by case fifth also. Yes, x into v, right? Yes, in case fifth, what is we have? We have x index, this is 1. We can solve this by using case fifth formula. But I will suggest here to use this case because when we use this case fifth, we have to use the case second, right? We have to take the help of this case second and when we use case second here, yes, we can check that case second gets failed here. So, some complications arises in solving by this is case fifth. So, it's better to use this case six of Euler's formula. So, yes, what we have to do here, first we will find CF, yes, for CF we need auxiliary equation. An auxiliary equation is given by this one, yes. So we have, yes, so we have these roots and these roots are complex and distinct. So what is CF? Yes, this is C1 cos of 2x plus C2 sin of 2x. This is the CF. Okay. Now we have to find pi. Yes, what is pi? We have this formula for pi. We have to write down f of d and this is x. Okay, so yes, here we have sine 2x. So what will we do here? We will write down sine 2x by this Euler's formula. Yes, we have write down sin 2x as an imaginary part of e raised to i2x. Yes, so we have to take this is imaginary part. This is outside. Yes, and we can take this is outside. So here we have this is x into this is e raised to this is twice ix. Yes, so now we will solve first part. This is here. Yes, first we will solve this part here and we will separate the imaginary part of this operation so that we will get required pi. Now yes, what we have to do here, this is of this type. Yes, so in this case we have to take this is e raised to, this is twice ix, this is outside, right? And at the same time we have to replace this d by d plus a and a is here coefficient of this x so here we have to replace this is by d plus twice i right and this is here 4 okay remaining is here x what we have done here we have replaced this is d by d plus a a is here coefficient of this x this is here twice i Okay, now we have to do the simplification of this one. Yes, we have to do expansion of this. Is, so, d square 4di and this is minus 4. Yes, how this is twice i it square. This is 4i it square and i square is here minus 1. So, this get cancelled. So here we have twice ix. Yes, 
now we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this x so for this yes we have to use this case of x raised to m yes where we have to express this f of d as a 1 plus phi of d by taking lowest degree term outside so this is lowest degree term so we will take this is outside of this operation so here we will have this is 1 plus yes so now what we have to do yes here we have this is 1 upon i 1 upon i we can write this is 1 we can write this is minus 1 into minus 1 and this is i so 1 upon i we have this is minus i so here we have minus i yes we have write down 1 upon i as a minus i so here we have this is now we have to take this expression in numerator that is with negative index so here we have yes now we have to expand this expression and we have this is if we have this is 1 minus x raised to minus 1 so what is its expansion here we have this is 1 plus x plus x square x cube and so on yes when we have this is minus sign here we have all plus sign so here we have now we have to operate this bracket on this x yes now we can check that second order derivative of x is here 0 similarly third derivative of x this is 0 and so on so here we will write down term up to this is right now we will multiply this is with this bracket so here we have yes this is derivative of x derivative of x yes this is 1 right now we have to operate this 1 upon d on this 1 1 upon d this is the integration with respect to x so what is integration of x this is x square by 2 and this is i by 4 this is the constant and its integration is x so yes we have simplified this is here again here we have 1 upon i 1 upon i here this is minus i so first we will put 1 upon i as a minus i so that terms will get simplified when we multiply this is by minus i so inside here we have x square i upon 2 and this is i square i into i square this is i square is here we have minus 1 and minus minus get plus here so here we have 1 by 4 x so we got this expression as this one yes so what we have done here we have simplified this expression and we now want its imaginary part so for this what will we do here we will write down this is by Euler's formula so we have pi is equals to this is imaginary part of we will write down this is by Euler's formula this is here we have cos of 2x plus i times sin of 2x yes yes we want imaginary part of this expression and this expression we have find we have simplified this is as then we have write down e raised to twice i x by this Euler's formula so that we can separate real and imaginary part right so yes what we have to do we have to do the separation of real and imaginary here we want imaginary part so that means we need the terms of i here so yes 
So what will we do here? First we will multiply by cos of 2x to this expression cos of 2x. Yes, we want imaginary part. So first we will multiply this is by with this one x square by 2i then cos of 2x this is 1 by 4x. Now we will multiply by i sin 2x. This i and this i this is minus 1 minus x square by 2 sin of 2x and now this is i into sin of 2x this is 1 by 4x. Yes, now we want the terms of i here. Now we can check that in these two terms here we have i. So, so we will collect these terms of i here. So here we have x square by 2 x square by 2 into cos of 2x. This is plus x by 4 into sin of 2x. This is into i plus remaining part. This is x by 4 cos of 2x minus minus get plus. Yes. And now we want imaginary part. So we can check that this is the imaginary part because in this year we have this is i term right. So what is its imaginary part. So we will write down here. This is by multiplying this is with 1 by 4. So here we have x square by 8 cos of 2x plus x by 16 into sin of 2x. And this is the required pi for this given differential equation. Yes. So yes how we have proceed for this differential equation. Yes, when we have x raised to m sin 2x, we need imaginary part of this expression. So, first we have solved this expression by using case 4. Then we got value of this expression. This is here and we need the imaginary part of this expression, right? So, yes, for this we have put e raised to twice ix by Euler's formula. Then on simplification, we collect the terms of i. Yes. So, by collecting terms of i, we got imaginary part of this expression, right? So, this is the imaginary part and this is the real parts which is free from i. Yes, we need imaginary part. So, we have write down imaginary part here. So, this is the required pi for given differential equation and next we can write its solution y is equals to cf plus pi. So this is the required solution for given differential equation. So yes that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.